Hi, this is Shadi and today in this video I'm gonna be discussing one of the most influential people of the Japanese diaspora, the challenges, the professional wrestling, uh, the being a master in judo and also just all these travels and teaching people. I'm gonna be talking about Soshihiro Satake, Maeda's training partner, business partner, travel partner and a man that was very influential when it came to the surge of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu alongside many others. Uh, I believe that Satake should be uh, more discussed because all of the travels that Maeda made, Satake was in almost all of them and this video I'm gonna be detailing a little bit about his travels and his career as a judoka and as a teacher and also as a wrestler. So. Uh, Soshihiro Satake was born in 1880 in Japan. Later on, he became a nationalized or naturalized Brazilian and later became known as Antonio Satake. Uh, he was one of the teachers of Luis França and which gave birth to the Fadda lineage, uh, Jeyo Omori and also Mitsuyo Maeda. All these people are considered the one of the primary founders of BJJ today. Uh, and also he was a pioneer in judo in Brazil, the United Kingdom and a slew of other countries. So uh, if you remember from my Maeda video, uh, Maeda is considered to be the second generation Kodokan, the first two to ever become uh, the second generation after the four guardians were Satake and Maeda. Maeda was of small stature, uh, slim, while Satake was five foot nine or 175 centimeters tall around 80 kilograms so that's a very dense and muscular frame uh, before joining the Kodokan he was actually a sumo wrestler and later on he joined the Kodokan to become a judoka um, he was a very successful grappler but when it came to Maeda he could never beat him one-on-one uh, -on -one in real uh, Shiai or Randori uh, Satake and Maeda graduated together as top uh, professors from Waseda University. They were both third degree black belt alongside uh, Matsuhiro Ritaro who was uh, second degree or Nidan and you have uh, six others uh, Shodan or first degree black belt and that was the total of the second generation of the Kodokan. So uh, at the turn of the century in 1903 uh, one of the four guardians uh, Yamashita Yoshitsugu or Yoshiaki Yamashita uh, traveled to the United States to become the teacher of uh, Theodore Roosevelt. I already covered this in my uh, Yamashita video. Uh, he was requested to go there by Sam Hill, uh, one of the most prominent businessmen at the time uh, in Washington DC. Uh, Yamashita taught uh, the president and very prominent politicians and a rich high society people. Uh, Yamashita also taught the US Naval Academy, I already covered this in detail in my Yamashita video, I'll link it at the end. So uh, because of this publicity of Yamashita was doing teaching high level people and high class society, politicians etc, uh, the Japanese legation uh, in the US asked the Kodokan to send more teachers so they were kind of taking advantage of Yamashita's status to provide more continuity to Japanese people working there and living there and also to Yamashita's work and a good way to spread judo. So Sunejiro Tomita was uh, a bit uh, reluctant to go to the US and other countries but Maeda and Satake immediately accepted. So Tomita, Maeda and Satake sailed from Yokohama, uh, Japan on November in 1904 and they arrived in New York City on December 8th 1904. So before they traveled to uh, uh, before traveling to Europe Maeda and Satake actually went to Cuba alongside Akitaro Ono and Tokugoro Ito which was uh, Jeyo Omori's uh, professor I believe and all of them engaged in challenges and combat. So in 1907 Maeda and Satake arrived in Liverpool England uh, they had planned to join with uh, Ono Akitaro who was there before them in London prof uh, doing professional wrestling 
uh, for the promoter under the name William Bankier and the London Music Hall. So, uh, in December, or in this, in September, excuse me, of uh, 1909, uh, a Japanese called himself Nobutaka arrived in Mexico City. Uh, he was challenging Maeda. For uh, the Mexican Herald said that it would be whoever wins become the world jujitsu champion. And after several months of back and forth and uh, uh, publicity and marketing, Taka and Maeda met at the Cologne Theater on November 16th, 1909, and Taka won. Uh, just four days later, there was a big rematch, and Maeda won that rematch. It was later on uh, revealed or discovered that Taka was himself Soshihiro Satake, so it was his gimmick. Uh, if you ask me, uh, this whole thing was staged in order for them to make money and also uh, to pro uh, William Bankier to profit as well. So they did the whole uh, professional wrestling build up and hype up in order to make money. Both of them had matches and both of them won. Uh, one match so it was I'm pretty sure it was all staged so uh, during 1911 uh, Maeda and Satake uh, joined uh, in Cuba by Akitaro Ono and Tokugoro Ito uh, they were called the four kings of Cuba the four kings of Cuba were very uh, popular there uh, that the Japanese media was constantly talking about them and how they were bringing judo and japan a good name uh, out in the west so 1913 maeda and satake they went to el salvador costa rica Honduras, panama colombia ecuador and peru uh, in el salvador the president was assassinated while they were there and the americans paid them to lose uh, but uh, they kept moving south uh, through the continent in peru they met uh, Laku, a Japanese uh, jiu-jitsu master uh, who was teaching hand-to-hand -hand combat in the military uh, and he was invited to join them. Uh, they were also joined uh, by Okura who was based in Chile, another uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu master and Shimizu from Argentina, all of them Japanese jiu-jitsu masters. So all of them went to uh, Porto Alegre uh, on November 14th in 1914 and then moved throughout the country for an entire year doing demonstrations and challenges basically making a living so uh, as you can see here uh, Satake and Maeda were constantly all the time together traveling doing everything uh, to make a living promote uh, judo or jujitsu what known back then uh, and also helping the Japanese to uh, settle and just bringing a good name to Japan in general so uh, the whole thing with the uh, president's assassination and they kept moving south I believe that's why uh, he was accused of being a spy now it all makes sense in a bit uh, in a way so uh, like I said uh, in they arrived on 1914 in Porto Alegre uh, and they moved throughout the country one year later in, in uh, 1915 uh, Maeda and Satake, Okura, Shimitsu and Laku were at Recife in Brazil and October 1915 they were there in Belém for the first time uh, finally arriving in uh, the Brazilian state of Amazona uh, on December of 1915. So Tokugoru arrived uh, sometime later in December of 1915 and the first ever uh, Belém demonstration uh, took place uh, in 1915 at the, uh, te at the uh, Teatro uh, Politeama, the O Tempo newspaper announced the event stating that uh, Count Coma or Count Combat uh, would show the main jiu-jitsu technique except the prohibited ones. He would also show self-defense technique. After that, uh, the whole group of the Japanese masters uh, would be accepting challenges from the crowd and there would be uh, the first sensational jiu-jitsu ma uh, match between Shimitsu of Argentina and Laku of Peru, both uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu masters. And on uh, 22nd of December in 1915, according to the Otempo uh, newspaper, uh, the jiu-jitsu world champion Maeda, head of the Japanese troop, and Satake uh, as well.
and New York champion performed an enthusiastic uh, jiu-jitsu mass match. So uh, Satake was considered the New York champion and Maeda was considered the world champion. And they had a uh, jiu-jitsu match on the same day. Uh, Najib Asef, an Australian Greco-Roman wrestling, challenged uh, Maeda uh, on that day. You can uh, see it in my Maeda video. I discussed this topic as well. So, uh, on January 8th, 1916, uh, Maeda Okura Shimitsu boarded the SS Anthony and left for Liverpool. Uh, Ito went to uh, Los Angeles, Satake and Laku stayed in Mana Manos teaching according to O Tempo. So, uh, after 15 years of being together, uh, traveling and doing all these demonstrations and professional wrestling, uh, publicity and making a living, from uh, prize fighting and also professional wrestling or fixed matches, Maeda and Satake finally split up. Uh, his last trip to Europe, uh, very little is known. Uh, Maeda went from England to Portugal, Spain, France, coming back to Brazil in 1917 alone uh, without Satake. Uh, Satake, however, was the founder of the first uh, judo academy in Brazil in 1914 so that was way before uh, Conde Coma judo academy in the 1920s that was 1914 uh, nine years later I believe uh, Maeda founded his academy but the first ever to found uh, to have founded a judo academy in Brazil was actually Satake that's why he is uh, one of the uh, big figures when it comes to Brazilian jiu-jitsu because uh, teaching judo started with Satake with the first ever school uh, there in 1914 so uh, he and Maeda are considered like I said pioneers of judo in Brazil and in 1916 Satake won the first jiu-jitsu tournament in the Amazon uh, in Manos Satake opened his own academy in 1916 so he was going around opening schools and atlet uh, at the Atletico Rio Negro club which uh, became the first Japanese to ever open a jiu-jitsu school ever in Brazil, like I mentioned. So, Satake became a Brazilian citizen and changed his name to Antonio. Uh, and in September of 1921, Satake, Maeda, Okura were briefly in New York City. They were abroad the Booth Line Steamship, SS, Polycarp. All three men listed their occupation as professors of Juizo. Uh, after leaving New York, the three men went to the Caribbean islands where they stayed from September to December of 1921. In Havana, Satake and Maeda took part in some competitions and uh, challenges. Their opponents included Paul Alvarez who wrestled as Espanol Icognito. Alvarez defeated Satake and uh, Okura um, he was also uh, a former instructor as, uh, at the Chilean Naval Academy, I'm talking about Okura, uh, before being himself beaten by Maeda, so uh, Alvarez lost to Maeda. Maeda also defeated the Cuban boxer known as Jose Ibarra or Ibaja and a French wrestler called Fournier. Uh, in 1922, after this whole thing ended, Satake went back to Europe and passed away in 1942. So he didn't live out uh, all his life in Brazil. Even though he got the nationality, uh, he preferred to stay in Europe. So, uh, like you, uh, as you've seen, this is a life that's very filled with travels, challenges, alongside Mitsuyo Maeda. I believe that Maeda and Satake should be both mentioned and stated uh, in the same importance uh, I know that Maeda has this uh, big figure to him, but I believe that after you know researching his life, Satake should have an equal uh, share of the attention and the recognition in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this brief uh, history uh, talk. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.